Crab season is ending three months early this year. The new state rules come after a lawsuit was filed in an effort to protect whales and sea turtles at risk of being entangled in fishing equipment. KSPY's Kelsey McFarland joins us live in Morro Bay with reaction from fishermen. Kelsey? Karina, fishermen I spoke to today are angry about the change. They say it could destroy a lot of livelihoods. Meanwhile, the Center for Biological Diversity says it's a big win for marine life. To haul the traps, it's a very powerful high-speed piece of equipment. Bob Meharry won't need this piece of equipment for the foreseeable future. There are only seven days left of crab season for him and dozens of other local fishermen. We were given no choice. After 45 seasons, Meharry says the new rules cut deep. 70% of what I make is, is made here after March 1st. It's been like that for roughly 10 years. His son, also in the crab fishing industry, is out of business. And his whole life, we've always said, oh, we'll work it out. Keep fishing, keep working, we'll figure it out. But in all honesty, you know, we might all be done. The Center for Biological Diversity says there's been a record-breaking number of whales getting entangled in fishing gear off the California coast. They want to cut crab season short to avoid whale migration season. When the whales cross one of these lines, it can wrap around their fins or their tail or get caught in their mouth. And that heavy crab trap makes it cinch down and tighten. It cuts into their skin. It, it uh, saps their energy by, by dragging and eventually they can drown and die. The organization filed a lawsuit in an effort to put an end to this problem in 2017 after 71 whale entanglements were reported in 2016. This is a big win for, for whales and all Californians who can now feel better about eating crab. And a preliminary count for 2018 shows 45 whale entanglements on the West Coast. Meharry argues it's not just crab fishermen that are to blame for that number. Live and local in Morro Bay, Kelsey McFarland, KSBY News. Kelsey, thank you. And the settlement encourages the development of ropeless fishing gear. Fishermen who invest in the new technology will be able to continue crabbing after the end of the season.